Hi, this is Anson, KIB100504. Firstly, I'll be showing how to generate an RC circuit. First, we will need a voltage generator. Add a, a resistor up here. Capacitor, let me rotate it. And one more transist uh, resistor down here. Connect them using the wires. Okay, not to forget about the ground. And also then add the pin. One more. Okay. And then we need to change the value. I've decided to use 10k for this. And then this one micro one. Okay. And check the signal. Make sure it's unit step. We need to see it. And then after T20 we get one volt. Okay. So let's analyze it using oscilloscope. Go single run. Okay, so this is the voltage then for EF2 run. Okay, cannot see. Let me adjust this one. Run. Still cannot see. Okay. So 100. Yeah, 100 it is. So we get a graph like this, which means when the voltage increase, then the current decrease. Okay, so next, let's move to the RL circuit. So same thing, we need to add a voltage generator, and then add transistor up here, and then the inductor rotate, inductor around here. Connect them using wires. Remember to add the ground and the pin. Rotate, rotate, rotate. One more. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Okay, so for this 10k is alright. This one seems really okay. But then for this, we need to change this to a sinusoidal. And then let's try it with a 10 frequency first. Okay, okay. So yeah, everything okay. Let me analyze it using oscilloscope. This one have to be normal. Okay, try first. Okay. Okay, it's starting to appear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same here. So 50 meter and this one. See whether we can make it bigger or not. Yeah, this is alright. And for EF2, have to be make it bigger again. This is better. Okay, so let's analyze this. Get the theta and then put in Excel. So let's open up Excel. This frequency just now we chose 10, right? So let's measure the period first. So one cursor, stop this. Let's measure the peak of the green to another peak. So peak to peak, we get the period. Okay, it's green color now. So the period equals to 224.78 bracket minus root 122.4 maybe okay so we get the period about this so next next oh, let's find the time difference so go ahead to A okay. okay B is EF2 
make sure okay, about about this so let's analyze the data so across a it's 299.71 and across B, it's uh, 273.78. Okay, so the difference between them is equal to this minus this enter. And then we can get a phase angle using the formula of 360 degree divided by formula. Close to 360 divided by the period, okay, and then times the difference. So you can see it's about 90 degree. Yeah. So what happened if we change the frequency a little bit? So let's change it. The frequency. I let's just change it to 90 and see what happens. So let's go normal. Okay. And very long. Okay, this is good. Four zero F two. Due to the time constraint, I can actually say that after I've tried a lot of times, it will get uh, about the same, just a little bit of difference. So I'll go to the next one, which is the RCL circuit. So same thing, let's put in the, the source and put it on transistor. So for this, I have decided to use 2K and for this, I decided to use 2 like this. Okay. I haven't changed this. Is it so laggy? Okay, we got this. And then for the F two, yeah. See, you can see it's become blue, blue color. It's because uh, they are in phase. The green graph and then the uh, red graph together, it becomes the blue color. Okay, so this is for RCL circuit. I don't have enough time. To have, I have enough time. I will explain the just now that one. Okay, copy. Before we change the magic and give you the frequency. But I really don't have enough time, so I'll just say that the phase angle is about the same, just a little bit difference and a little bit of increase. Okay, so thank you everyone.